So just to confirm. How can the money they say in the lean? That's why I'm over retarded. That's why I'm over retarded. What song is that? Baby, welcome to the party. I hit the boy up and then I go skate in the room. 20, 20 years old. Bitch, I'm a lot. 20 years old. Bitch, I'm a th- Give me lit. Did you know he's Blood in my hands. Blood in my hands. 20 years old, bruv. Talk about that on the podcast. Let's start with that. Baby. Baby, don't trip. Just look at You know that Dior song? Because you could get hit. Yeah. <laughs> his, uh, his album's actually wavy, you know? I don't know. Um, Two. No, I ain't heard that album. It's good. I only, I only know a few of his songs. I know he's got one with Skepta. Um, Baby, get it. What's the one with Skepta? Welcome to the party. Welcome to the party remix. And uh, obviously Dior. Do you like Skepta? Christian Dior. Do I like Skepta? Oh, hurry up, man. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Um... Enjoy the love. Um, Drew and Thingy My Bob. What, uh, Stormzy. Yeah. With or without, bro? Just change it up. Start with it on and later on just take yeah. it off, bro. Come on, bro. Best of both worlds. Word of HF. Get the best of both worlds. Now, how are we starting it? Let's just start from there. From where? Best of both worlds. No, no, no. Oh, Christian Dior, Dior. The spits and bars in it, some pop smoke. Hmm? Left, right. Don't no, do it. Do it now, innit? How was that pop smoke? No, no, I'm not saying it is. He just said, you just said the gun name was by pop smoke. Well, I didn't say that. I did the gun name, but I didn't say it's by pop smoke. I'm, I'm just doing it because I want you to start spitting so the bars. So first you said boxing has extra time. This guy, we haven't even started and you're already lying. And then, and then you say <laughs> Pop Smoke made the gunny. I didn't even say that. Wow, bro. You know lying's a sin. Bro, just lower your tone. Because <laughs> you could get hit. See, you're doing <laughs> it again, bro. You got issues, G. That's the point. He's it's good, though, man. I like, I like Pop. It's all supposed to make Same sense. Same mother's life, he's 20 years old. I swear, on my mother's <laughs> life, I don't believe that. <laughs> I swear old. to God, I don't I believe that. How, How old is the, the baby? The baby. Yeah. How old is... It's right there, you horse. Is it? It's just said it's just showed his face, 28 or something. 28. He popped out. No way. Make the stallion's 25. Who's that? You know who make the stallion is? This girl. Bro, I'm not into this American scene like that, bro. You think I am, but I'm not either. Now you are G. You must have seen her around, bro. You got like little baby jumpers and that. <laughs> you got a boogie with right. a hoodie. Young boy. Do you, do you like never a, broke. Yeah, do you like a boogie? Whatever his name is. I, I think I've got one song of his on my playlist. That um swerving. Can't really. Is that him? Yeah, with, oh, he's um, kind of lit though. With, uh, what's that brother's name? The Snitch Don? The Snitch? Snitch 9. You like that? Stupid! Can't lie. Hey, he, had a good, he had a good thing going. Blueface what's, is 23. All right, all right, Roddy Rich is 21 years old, bro. Let me ask you a question, yeah? What's better? Um, Drake's, yeah? Or Travis Scott's, yeah? Drake's, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Or Travis Scott's? Yeah! Travis Scott don't do that. Yeah, he goes, yeah! And the ad libs, yeah? Yeah. No, when uh, he goes, um, Fuck it, man. Um, What's better? Uh, Pop Smoke's retarded or um, 6 9 stupid? Uh, Pop Smoke. Pop Smoke, innit? I'm not gonna lie, yeah. The, the Don't six say you're not feeling him. Who? Pop. No, I'm talking about 6 9 Like, I'm just bare surprised that he, he done what he done, man. Bro, but this is, this is life for you, bro. Like, people claim to be something they're not. But do you really think, you know, that the media's made his, the magnitude of snitching? Do you yeah. really think he snitched that bad? Or was, are they just gassing it up to make it look like he's... Or has he literally... I think he was singing, G. I think that's the only time 6ix9ine uh, yeah, six nine's ever sang in his life. I, thought, I think he was going mad. I haven't worn this in like two years. Bare ad-libs and ad-verbs and ad But after all of that, he's in pen for, I think, a year and a half, two years? Because he's got money, bro. He's got money, man. Money two, two years. No, after... So he's been... Do you know what I missed? He's been in, or, uh, in prison for like a year already. But then when his court case got finalised, everything... In December? Hey, should pick up New York, bro. They got a bear man, you know. Do you know who I miss? 50 Cent. Bro, you're talking from like 20 years ago, bro. I'm chatting. I'm talking about someone from like five years ago. ASAP Ferg. Bobby, bitch. Bobby, bitch. Walk up on them re- revolvers. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Bobby Schmurder's my guy. Schmurder. Man. Free Schmurder. Free Schmurder, did man. You know- what did he do, actually? I think it was an M charge. Keep that brother in pen. Keep him, him in really locked doors. You must have heard the story because it went viral on Twitter last year. So him and his brethren both got, obviously... What's his um, brethren called? The one that got nabbed with him? Yeah, the uh, big dog, innit? The, the one with the dreadlocks. That's mm-hmm. with him smoking a spliff and the... Uh, I'm not even sure. Bobby tune. Whatever. What are you saying, bro? Um, Where'd you come from, bro? I came from nowhere. I thought you came out of the toilet. Wait in his lounge. Shout out oh, to the Oh, biscuits guy. as well. 
Fahimis. I think these are the nicest biscuits on the planet. Name the top three biscuits. Digestives. Dead. Um, it was it Mi Maryland's? Maryland's. That's not a biscuit, that's a cookie. <laughs> but it's a biscuit, fam. All right, you know, secu when I, whenever I say security, yeah. get security ready. I mean it with all my life. Bro. You know Please. when you come on camera? <clears throat> Thank you, bro. His energy changes. Before this, he was being calm. You know when you're trying Thanks to impress your girl? Yeah. So you're basically, he's calling you a girl, bro. What, yeah. what are you saying, bro? You he just you called you a girl, fam. Said, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. That's my dog. Is that how you man are rolling? 2020? You said, this guy, you know, he said pop smoke and then said the gun lean. Wallahi, had, say what lie said that. I've got the footage. See, we'll see, show you say the that one second. Say what lie said yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, we'll show you the There you go, there you go. I'm saying what lie didn't say that. Fresh Jim. Come on. Yo, fuck. Put this on. Put this on, go, go. Show them all gone. Billy Jean, Billy Jean. They see you, you know. Christian oh. Dior, Dior. What, am I blind? Are you blind? Are you, you can't see me. I heard he came lying, here still. Right? I heard he came here. Yeah, that's good, bro. <laughs> Safe, Regular. bro. Regular. Thank you. Safe. Appreciate it. Cool, cool, cool. So. Back to the biscuits. Basically, Bobby Schmurder got nabbed mm. for an M charge with one of his bedrooms. Yeah, keep him in. And indoors. I think Bobby Schmurder took two or three extra years. So they both could get equal time. I heard that. Or his brethren could get like twice the time. I heard that. Or something along them lines. I heard that. What a real that. guy. Yeah, a real guy. Well, you do that he, for me, be honest. But he killed someone. I'm saying I think, I don't know. Ah, oh, bro, okay. I've got, I'm not going to lie to you. Let's start with this quickly, quickly. Just very, very quick one, you know. I've all, I always ask my guys this, yeah. Let's say you've been involved in a car um, stop and search, yeah. Your boys are drug dealers, big drug dealers. They've told you, hey, dog, yeah. We've got drugs in the car, yeah? Before I got in. Before you get in. We've okay. got drugs in the car. Yeah. Do you want to roll with us? Okay. Yeah, we're going to go up to this street. Do you want to roll with us? Mm -hmm. You've said yes. Feds have stopped you. They've somehow incriminated you. They've somehow found evidence to incriminate you and put you with them, man. They said, if you don't provide information, this is all hypothetical, and I don't know how the justice system works, but this is all hypothetical. If you don't snitch, if you don't tell us who, whose drugs it is, you're not involved. You're, just, you're a good guy. You go uni, you probably got a gal, blah, blah, blah. If you don't, uh, you're seven, same time as then, 10, 10 years. So the only way for me to get off the hook would be if I was singing? Yeah. Okay. Real talk, real Okay, legit, shit. legit. Okay, cool. If I got into the whip knowing what they're on, yeah, then I wouldn't be a prick. I would just say this though. And this is, again, you asked for the honest truth. This yeah. is me being honest. Yeah, I want you to be honest. I'll be like, the mo this is the most I'd probably say. And of course, the situation never happened, so a man can't really give you yeah, yeah. Well, like, word to word details. Mm. Word for word details. The most I would say is actually nah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even say that. I was about to say I'm they're not, involved. not mine. Yeah. But I'm not involved. But then by automatically saying that, that is indirectly. Yeah, yeah so I wouldn't even it. say that. No, no, no. If just, you've agreed to uh, go okay. in. Sorry, sorry. You know what I would say? Huh. I would say, I'm not gonna say anything to the lawyer or to you lot right now. Let me speak to the mandem. I wanna speak to the mandem in confidence with no recording or nothing. Mm. And I'll say to my boys, you told me, but you didn't tell me I'm gonna get fucking put away for 10 years. Yeah, of course. So but as my brethren, yeah. you take the blame then. I'm not gonna snitch on you, mm. but as my brethren, yeah, someone I'd expect, who, I'd someone who should have morals and principles yeah. and all that kind of good stuff. Yeah, I'd expect them to. But... I'd expect you to, but if you didn't, I would just take the L and be like, I'm, cause I'm not gonna- And then just fuck him up in prison. But then the, the flip side is, Am I gonna take ten years? That's the, bro. It's, the, for... it's a serious thing for something you never done. I don't know, bro. It's, it's one something of them to ones. consider. What about you? What about you? Nah, bro. No comment interview. What Welcome to the H Squared podcast. No, as in, you you snitch. No, no comment. I'm not. I'm not saying anything. So you, you go down for ten years. No, like I can't. I, I can't. Like I've tried to imagine the situation multiple times. Bro, you I can't. can't do that. You can't let me give such a flipping long answer and you say no comment, bro, and start the podcast. Well, I'm just getting ready for when I get bagged. No comment. No, go on, bro. Honestly, I think. What would you do? Bro, 10 years is a long time, G. But then again, I, I'm a dickhead because I agreed. Yeah. So if but, I agreed... What if you got in the car, but they didn't tell you? Like, okay, this is the idle situation. No, no, if I got in the car and I, and I wasn't involved and they never told me, I'm, I'm saying, no, fuck that. I don't give a fuck. I'm saying, I'm not, I'm not saying it's them. I'm just saying, look at the evidence. I'm not involved. I did not know. Mm, I had look no... Look my track record. Yeah I, have, yeah, I go uni. I'm a good this, bro. Fuck all that, bro. I ain't getting mm. done for something I never done, bro. Fuck that. If they never told me, and I don't know they're like that, no. Mm, mm. But if they've told me, listen, they're saying we've got bare shit in the car, we've got nanks, we've got this. Do you want to come with us? We're only dropping you down the yeah. street. I'm a that is, to, to the extent where um, this... <laughs> I'm sounding like a pro proper goody two-shoes right now. In the past, um, like, I've been with friends. Some of them do but on occasion, you know, that kind of stuff. And they've they've wanted to either pick up or they had food on them, innit? And I was like... Because 
because obviously, as you know, I share, I share more time anyways. I shared the car with my mum. Mm. Bruv, I'm not going to, like, even if it's local down the road, I'm not going to, like, I just said, your man, bro, bro, that's out, not, out, of, out of respect, like, I don't want that shit in my car. That's not good. So I'm sorry, I don't, I don't want you. I'm not I said that with chess. Yeah. If, I, if my guys, mm. and they're really my man them, come in with a drug and they haven't told me, they're not my man them. Mm. <coughs> shit. <coughs> Wrong bite. Wrong bite. <coughs> man turned Arab. Start the thing. <coughs> Fuck. <clears throat> come, come. Let me knock the back. It's fine, What do you mean, bro? It helps. Start the thing before I lose the plot. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the HZ podcast again. Uh, yes, sir. This is another episode. Fuck it. I'm not even counting episodes. I think seven host. or eight. Yeah, but it doesn't matter, though, innit? Fuck the episodes. Because you could watch this in any order. It doesn't yeah, really trust have to be. me. Uh, obviously, you know who I am. I'm not going to introduce myself anymore because I've made myself known out here. You know what I'm saying? But you, you need to introduce it. So go ahead, yeah, man. Look at him. The clout got to his head. Yo, people, what's good? Chaser. I'll go by the name of Hader. And uh, if you got me on the gram, it's obviously World of HS. Mine's Nutri. Um, he with doesn't. X. No, so now he wants to introduce himself. Mine's Nutri with the is, X. Is that how he's rolling? NXCCI. But you guys probably already know that. <laughs> From uh, the weight loss uh, viral tweet. No, not really. Is this still your pinned? Yeah. How, how, is it, are you still Forever getting uh, making that my uh, retweets and likes? Uh, likes more than retweets, yeah. Every now, every. How many endorsements do you Every couple of days, it? man. How many endorsements have you got from it? What's that, bro? I don't speak this lingo. How many businesses have reached out to you for ads mm. and paid promotions? Quite a few, actually. Yeah, mothers, none. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, welcome back to another episode of the Hate Squared Podcast. Yeah. Thank you all for your ongoing support and your love. Yeah. And um, yes, sir. Tragic news. Last night. Tragic news. Very. Was it, was it last night? It was last uh, night. I think it was two nights. No, it was last no, no, night. Bro. No, no, no. Th- yesterday was Saturday. No, it was yesterday. Yeah. It was, I'm pretty sure it was two nights. Mm-mm. It wasn't on Valentine's. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Whenever it was, mm. yeah, I think that's a bit irrelevant. Yeah. First and foremost, bro, we started the last podcast thing, rest in peace, Kobe. Yeah. And now we. Madness. Rest in peace. Two different circumstances. It, how do I say them? Caroline Flack. Caroline Flack, yeah. Fleck, Flack. I hope I'm not saying her wrong, uh, yeah. name wrong. It's man. not intentional. May, I, may I'll, I'll be, rest in peace, man. I'll, I'll be honest. I never, I never knew her like that. In it, like. Did you ever watch X Factor? Yeah, up? yeah. That's, what, that's the thing. I saw her face. I'm like, bro, she looks mad familiar. Or was it Britain's Got Talent? One of them. No, it was X Factor. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. X Factor. Yeah. What's the other brother? You know the other guy? Oli Mers. No, man. Stephen Mulhern, whatever his name is. Not sure. Maybe if I saw his face. He, Stephen uh, what? Let me. Stephen Mulhern, something like that. Is he one of the presenter guys? Yeah, I think he was on uh, Britain's Got More Talent. Stephen Mulhern or something like that. Mullen. Yeah, I used to, I used to, I imagine, yeah, I was, I was at. Liston? No, 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 that's not him, fam. Just right, Britain's got more talent presenter. Britain's got more said, more He showed talent. me some old geese, fam. Uh, I'll, I'll, Let me see him. Ant and Dex coming up, bro. Britain's got more talent. That's what I typed in. Let me see this brother, bro. Am I spelling his name wrong? No, bro, just don't put Stephen Mullen. I said Mullen. I swear it's Mulhern. Bro, I'm so hungry. Have I'm a biscoff, gonna, mate. I'm gonna eat like a horse after the podcast. Yeah, this man, brother, man. I'm pretty sure I was at work. This brother. Oh, this Don. Yeah, let me put it next to my wait, face. Wait, and then I'll zoom wait. In. What happened to him? No, no, he's cool, bro. I'm just saying, I've met him. Oh, thank God. I thought you were gonna. He's say... a sick guy, bro. Wasn't he on Art Attack or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not Art Attack, but one. But one yeah, of them, Stephen yeah, yeah, yeah. Mulhern. You're at Mullen. Because that's what Autocorrect said. Oh, okay. Fuck Autocorrect. Yeah, bro. Imagine I was out to my boy. Imagine, imagine. This is so crazy, bro. I was out to my boy. Shout out Naeem. I was out to my boy. Shout out who? Naeem. Yes, sir. I was like to him, we're just chilling at work. I'm like, oh, hey, bro. Nah, I'm good, bro. I was like, I can count to Maybe three. Eat away from I can count to three in five different languages. So I was like, one, two, three, uno, dos, tres, on, deux, trois, one, two, three, and what's the fifth language? Uno, dos, tres. Spanish? Uh, eins, zwei, drei. You said that. Or I think so. That. I've, I said that to him. I said that to my boy. And he goes, haha, that's funny. You should go on Britain's Got Talent. Mothers, I swear to God, 30 seconds later, Hi chaps, you're right. Can I get some help? Him, Stephen Mulhern. Where was that? Uh, uh where I what used to What recently work. or a while ago? No, like a year ago, innit? And then, and then my boy, bear calm. He goes, "Ah, oh, we were just talking about you. We just said he should go. On, uh, Britain's Got Talent." I was like, "I can count to three in five different languages." He goes, "Oh mate, you've won golden buzzer." I said, <laughs> "You should Don't thing. ever disrespect me like that, yeah." <laughs> you've done that a little while, man. But there's, I've had no reason to do it, bro. I'm happy with the world. Yeah. But check out my head but on Twitter. It's quite funny still. <laughs> it's always I've got, got a tweet coming out. It's got that. Um, but anyway. So yeah, rest in peace to her. Yeah. Condolences to her family and her loved ones. <coughs> 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 Wait, this is going to sound like I'm laughing at that. Stuck for Allah. No, bro. <laughs> We're not, I, just, not. I don't know what it is. It's going through the wrong pipe today, fam. Two peas in a pipe. Ha <laughs> ha. 
you fucked. No. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you got issues, bro. So I'm pretty sure she was them, like, you know, the ex extra factor and like um, co host. Love Island as well. Love Island. I think she was mainly, more recently known for the Love Island stuff. Love Island. And um, Love Island. And bro, it's, it's mad. If I'm not mistaken, I think we saw a tweet. I sent it to you, you sent it to me. She's the third person that's committed suicide that's linked to, to, Love, to Island. Love Island or is it linked to um, them kind of programs? I'm no, no, sure. it's Love Island. Love Island specifically has had, I think, three suicides. Because that, that Don, what's his name? Muggy Mike. I don't know. He, he was quite funny, but he committed suicide, I think, was it last year at some point? Bro, that shit is um, a thingy, man. Let's get straight to it, bro. It's fucked, bro. Would you say the media has a lot of people's bloods on their hand? Bro, this is the thing, bro. These men don't realise what they're doing. Like even with the Love Island shit, there was Wait, a, the man as in the celebrities the media, the or media, the media, the media. Bro, there's a there's. A, I disagree. I'm, with that. I, I'll let you finish. Listen, guys, I don't know. Do you mean you disagree with that? The media don't know what they're doing. Like yeah, they, they know exactly what they're doing, bro. No, they don't know the effect they're having. Like the extreme effect. I think they do. Oh, you think so? Yeah, I think they're that cruel and that wicked. That's disgusting. To, yeah, but sorry, go on. Yeah, Love Island. There's a girl this year. I don't know the shit in it, but there's a girl yeah, this year. I don't really watch um, it. Either. I think she had like a, a face, like a dirty face, like going or some shit, and it became a meme. And then everyone in the comments, I think it was like an I'm just bait or something. And everyone in the comments was like, oh, you man are laughing at this now, but I'm watching when she, nah, nah, nah. That's from last year, I think. Yeah. She go, they're like, oh, you man are laughing at this now, but what if she commits suicide? What if she, because she was getting bullied. Like it was, it was actually bullying online. I think online. I saw something along the line. Yeah, was it, it was like a couple like, weeks ago. Or like, like that. Yeah, 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 a couple of weeks ago. Um, so bro, like this online bullying shit, bruv. Like even, bro, even more recently, which I fucking hate. What's the royal family thing? Megan. Megan Markle. That's fucked, bro. That whole shit. Like, I don't really give a shit about the royal family like that, but yeah. Harry seems like a good don. Yeah. Seems like he's, a good chap. He, he, stood, he stood his ground, man. He backed nah, it. Nah, really, he bro. Backed, that's his, that's his, his missus, bro. Man backed his missus. Man, wait. He left the royal family? Yeah. Like, he took a step back. Resigned. And then moved to Canada or something? Yeah. My guy, bro. Six side. And what did he say? Something like, um, if you knew what I knew, you wouldn't yeah. be surprised on why I'm doing this. But, um, so obviously, I, I do believe the media has a lot of blood on their hands. But on the flip side, some may say individuals who are embarking on this whole celebrity life, influencer life, like you, I'm not saying you're signing up for any and everything because you still have that element of uh, every, we all deserve privacy. 100%. But it's kind of like, let's say for example, tomorrow I go on Britain's Got Talent and it all goes well for me. Bro, of course I can't, six months down the line, I can't expect to be treated the way I'm going to be treated here today. Like I walk into a lounge right now, no one's going to know who I am. You know, I'm so just a normal guy, but if I'm, Six months from now, we've got blue ticks on Insta and Twitter. Do you know what I mean? So I, f I do believe there's that element of be aware of what you're signing up for. But, yeah, it, does, but it, bro, doesn't, it doesn't justify it. If that's it your passion it, it and you want to work it. as your it passion. Yeah, if that's your passion yeah, and you want to work as your passion, like it shouldn't, you shouldn't have to think, I don't want to do my passion because I'm going to get followed around and stalked and yeah. by media and they're going to look at my child. Like They're going to take pictures of my child and my mom. Yeah. Like, bro, it's too much. Like, I saw a tweet the other day. I can't remember who it was. I think it was like Lady Gaga or some shit, yeah? Can't remember, but it said some shit like I fame. Heard of her from time, man. Yeah, it was. I think it was something like famous prison. Famous. Famous prison. I can see why she'd say that. It is, bro. Like, I can hundred percent see why she said that, bro. You can't go to the shops, bro. Like, it, we're talking big level celebrities, isn't it? But you can't go to the shops. You, you get people watching you. you. Can't even go as those. Yeah, bro. Yeah. You get people watching you, and you're like, oh, is he watching me because he knows me, or is he watching me because, like, you just get bare paranoid. Mm -hmm. Do you get me? Like, when there's when there's something attached to something in your head, and your head makes everything Everyone's bigger. Just on the, yeah, 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 and it just makes everything like. You get followed, you're, you have no privacy with your family, with your kids, with whoever, like with your missus. Bro, like, I don't think it's right to say, oh, but she expected, what, what did she expect? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, the thing is, I don't know what she was in the, the newspaper for. All I okay. know is she was getting, being bullied. So, like, okay, again, guys, disclaimer, like, I, this is just things I've seen online. Yeah, yeah. I've never actually Going gone out my way and like, research what, what did Caroline Flack do or whatever. Yeah. This is again, all from my knowledge. So if I do miss out a bit of information or I've said something wrong, yeah. please do forgive me because I don't know it in depth. Yeah. I think she had a court case going against her recently mm. because, and again, if I'm not mistaken, she, her man called feds on her because she hit or smashed a vase on his head whilst he was sleeping. Because there was some that's sort fucked. of, so obviously there was some sort of domestic violence going on. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Uh, well, that's straight away. Because of that. So I think the first thing he did was call the feds, and obviously, yeah, that's... call the feds is going to become a case, in it, especially something so domestic. So I think domestics always become a case. But most things nowadays become a case. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Playing football and no flipping ball games green nowadays would. I wouldn't be surprised yeah, if that, that was became, back in the estate as well. Trust me, man. But like, 
obviously, I got a message from one of my mates earlier today, and I think but that's not right, by the way. The, the fact that? that she done that isn't right, but the fact that she's like I've seen, I saw tweets yesterday. Oh, everyone's sad. Yeah. About, um, everyone's sad about a domestic abusing uh, or something like that, man yeah. abusing a pedophile. Um, oh yeah, because she dated Harry Styles. Harry Styles when she she was like she was thirty and he was like seventeen or some shit. I don't know. Wow, that's still fuck. Oh, was she thirty five, bro? I think she. I have a feeling I, she was like thirty five. I think it was thirty. I think thirty five. Fuck it. Yeah. It's irrelevant, isn't it? Whatever it was, a big age gap. Yeah, yeah, massive age gap. Most of our parents have bigger age gaps, but mine don't. But you know what I'm trying yeah, to say. Yeah, but, but go on, carry on. Um, Joseph. No, no, I just pulled myself, bro. Thank you. Yeah. So, oh, you're only caring about a pedophile, blah blah, blah who died because <laughs> she's white. Say, you saw that? Yeah, and bro, I'm thinking, bro, give it allow rest, it, man. man. When's this give race agenda going to give him? Stop crying. Snowflakes. Mm. Snowflakes. Wallahi. Did you see the, the screenshots of the same girl she tweeted yesterday and from like last year at some point? Last year at some point, she was talking shit about Caroline and now she's tweeting about rest in peace. Why you lot, be, you lot were so harsh to her? The biggest controversy that you, you're just such a snake. Yeah, last year, you chatted shit about her and now you're telling people not to chat shit about Hypocrite. her. Hypocrites. That's what I call a hypocrite. You know the ones. But, but um, I don't, like I said, I don't want to talk too much about it because I don't have extensive yeah, knowledge on it. Like that, but yeah. all I can say it is sad. Journalism in general, um, it's, it's the reference it's I made to, bro. it's the reference I made to social media not long ago about social media being a gun. A gun isn't good or bad. It depends who's behind the trigger. Do yeah. you know what I'm trying? And it's the same like, thing with media. No, but I feel like journalists are just leeches, bruv. Like, yeah. They li- look they at just uh, suck TMZ in America, bro. Look how, they've got look, no... Look how much they violated Kanye West, They've bro. got no remorse, bro. They have no respect. They have zero respect. That's what I hate about them. These Imagine. journalists. Like, sometimes they ask yeah. provoking questions so they didn't get a re- reaction out of you. And at stupid times, you're, it's four o'clock in the morning. There's a video of uh, Kanye. Uh, this is like from years back, where it's like three, four o'clock in the morning. He's got Kim in the um, his Lambo. I, I think she was pregnant as well at the time, so who knows? She could have been having complications. We have no idea. Imagine how much stress man's going through at that, that early time. And the first thing them and are asking, so Kanye, when's the new album coming, bro? Or what's going on with your Ye- Yeezys, bro? You know what I'm trying to... It's just like, no, bro, but like... There's, there's some, and literally, he, what did you just say? Leeches? Or yeah. cockroach or something? Yeah, leeches. Well, bro, Kanye said the exact same thing. I think like him, bro. <laughs> no, actually, he's Geniuses a bit mad. think alike. He's a bit mad. Um... What was I saying, bro? Yeah, once I think once his grandma died or something, his grandma just passed, and he's like, "I'm begging you, leave me alone." Grandma then, or mum? I can't remember, bro. Yeah. And then they're like to him, "Oh, yeah, no, no problem, bro. Respect you, Kanye. We always respect you, Kanye." And then when he's getting back in his Lambo, they start chatting shit again. Like you know them Donnies in school. Mm. I used to hate these Donnies. Yeah, I used to go up to them, and like say they're running their mouth. You'd be like, "Bro, like, what are you running? No, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry." And as soon as you walk away, they start shouting shit again. Did you ever have them Donnies or not? Nah? Kind of not. Nah, no, we had. Oh man, like, we had Donnies like that all the my time. My school, bro. like I said in they're previous just, episodes, I didn't really go to a rowdy school in it. They're just dogs, bro. They're leeches, bro. They just ask the most dirty questions. Bro, bro, let me ask you a question, yeah. As a grown adult, as a grown man, as a no grown woman, yeah. Man. How can you live with yourself knowing that your career, not your job, your yeah. career, is to essentially chat shit about other people's lives, mm. make up false accusations and rumors? And that's how you're profiting. That's how you're feeding your children, paying your rent, paying your mortgage, paying your phone bills, whatever it is, paying off your student loan. How can you as an adult live with yourself knowing that that's how you're making your living? Bro, there's a hundred, and the thing is, there's, there's such an agenda in the media, but people, I, I, I think people are realizing much more, but when you realize it and you see it, it's disgusting. Like I've seen it on Twitter where people uh, compare two articles together. So one about a black footballer and one about a white footballer. I see it all the time. Yeah. Big like Raheem Sterling, for example. Raheem why Sterling, they so bro, they to him, rinse, bro, they rinse they, Raheem Sterling. Why did they bully him okay, so much? Okay, let's say, let's say, yeah, let's say Raheem Sterling was a white footballer, yeah, English white footballer, who was from Wembley, from the gutters, from the ends, yeah, from estates, St. Raph's. I think he was from St. Raph's. Um, He's from Wembley? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he is, isn't he? Come on, G. Oh, shit. He went, uh, I think he went Copeland. So, from ends, I think Chunks went to the same school as him or something. Uh, Chunks went Wembley High, I think. Ah, uh, cool. But they're from the same, uh, same estate, I think. St. Raph's. But anyway, um, I think so. Imagine Raheem Stanley was a white baller and he made it to play in Wembley Stadium. The stadium where he grew up watching, who he grew up looking at, and he made like a success story, blah, blah, blah made it, scored a hat trick there, whatever. Bro, media would be going mad celebrating mm-hmm. him. Generational mm-hmm. talent, uh, amazing footballer, amazing sport, amazing this, attitude, blah, blah. Raheem Sterling, diver, poor attitude, 
um Bro, has a gun they, tattoo. They wrote, um, Fuck off, they wrote an man. article of him, um, guess about the most pettiest thing. Raheem Sterling earning X, it was like a six figure number per week, caught shopping in Poundland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's yeah. your problem, yeah. man? Oh, I've seen one. I only That's why he's got that much money, because he's fucking smart with I've it. S- I've seen one, I can't remember who it was about. So dumb. Only buys their mum a this amount car. And I'm thinking, bruv, do you even have. I don't even say the. But then, this is the thing, bro. You, Compare can you it to even a white... afford to give your mum a few bills a month? Compare bro. it to a white male. And they get glorified, G. Some dead ballers, bro. Dead ballers. And they get called the best names. Best attitude. Best this. Why, bro? Does it actually sell that much? Bro, I'm, all I'm saying is, yeah, and is it's, and it's, white and it's an privilege actual... and just racism in general still exist. Yeah, but that doesn't... So That's not to say, though, that Car- Caroline Flack... I think that's her name, bro. I feel mm. bad. I'm just going to call her Caroline. say Caroline, yeah. yeah. That's not to say that Caroline's getting all the attention because she's white. Mm. I don't. I don't think that's a fair statement. But to say. I will say this though, and 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 despite any backlash that may come my way, I, I don't care. A lot of it is because she's white. She's getting a lot of the positive. Stuff no, hundred percent, hundred percent. No, 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 hundred percent. But I don't feel like where I, I I don't feel sorry for her because she's white. I feel sorry for oh, her because oh, the media okay. the media abused her. Just the same way, if the media abused an Asian woman or a black woman or any other minority ethnic woman, and she committed suicide, I would feel sorry for her in the same way. Of course, like of course, Megan, of course. I feel so sorry for yeah, Megan, and yeah, I hope yeah. to God she stays strong and doesn't yeah, do man, anything like that. Fingers crossed, man. But because it's a black lady or black family or whatever, she, no one gives a shit about her. They mm. don't care. Piers mm. Morgan's tweeting R.I.P. Caroline, but he's doing the exact same shit he, as what people say so to Caroline was to he, Megan. Was he? Is he slating Megan? Yeah, he w- slates Megan nonstop. G what? and and uh, Katie Hopkins. What did they have against her? I don't know, bro. No, she, what, apparently, what, apparently she doesn't represent the royal family. Because she's black. I don't know. I think black. I think the fact that she's been oh, in a movie. Serious question. Oh no, man. she's been in a movie that ellips, ellips as a guy. Yeah, bro, yeah. Katie Hobson's beat in a park. G. Yeah, what are you talking disgusting. about, man? That's disgusting. Some next gang. No. What made it worse is she was married. Oh, was that not yeah, her man? Yeah. No, no, no. It wasn't her man. It wasn't her man. I'm pretty sure it wasn't her man anyways. Oh, uh, what a j That's why I think it makes it more of like, she, more worse than it is. Bro, you know Megan. My dog, you know. She, she's a sick actress as well, She was you know? in a... Skepta, isn't it? She yeah, that film was Skepta. What was it called? Assassin or something? I don't I know. I don't know, dude. It's some, like, gangs... Not gangster movie, but, like, some crime movie. And uh, she's also... Um, Fuck the She starred film. in uh, Suits as well, you know what I'm saying? Mm. But, um, yeah, man, rest in peace, Caroline Flack. Um, oh, just, I just genuinely don't know what else to say, man. I, I think the media itself... It's very need, powerful, I saw a video man. yesterday. One of my friends uh, put it on... You know you can share a post on your story? Yeah. Another celebrity posted an IGTV video for like seven, eight minutes. I didn't watch the whole video, but my mate shared it on her story. And it was like this this woman basically saying, I knew Caroline personally and, you know, we all make mistakes and you lot judged her so much. And then she was like, I'm going to do everything in my powers to make some sort of law about like how the media should and shouldn't act with celebrities. There has to be, there, there has, has to be some bro, regulations. Really, really and truly, look at, for example, like, like the Stormzy, for example, how many things have gone against him? Like, uh, when he done a scholarship, for Oxford and Cambridge, was it also just Cambridge? One of them. I can't remember. And it was specifically only that available was, to, so to, dumb, to, um, to black students. The black, the ba- and then black the backlash you the got backlash for it was, that was so bro, silly, big man thing. It was disgusting because he was like, "Oh, why? Why is you it can't not? Do anything right, why, why is it not open to? Um, why is it not open to white people? What, what's so special about black people that only you they can have? Right, they bro. can have the opportunity for the scholarship because black people, like, like coloured people in general, but we've said this before." Black people have it the worst, man. Yeah, 100%. When, you don't have to be black to see that. Yeah. Oh, they should have closed that door, man. It's calm. It's like they're making a mixtape. They're no, loud, man. It's cool. Um, no, they, they, they just walked in. Yeah, but, um, yeah, man, I think, you know, we should just... As, as Bro, a you society, can't win. You can't win. But let, me, society, let, me, let me end it on this. Like, let me end it on this. As a worker... Fix up on as, how we're acting. As an employee, yeah. you have rights. Oh, for sure. For yeah, sure, you yeah. have rights. You're not allowed to be... Like, if anything goes wrong, you can talk to your manager, HR, you can tell, yeah. yeah, HR, all of this shit. Why don't celebrities have that sort of protection? Tiny bit left. You sure? I'm good, I'm good, bro. Why don't celebrities or footballers or singers or musicians or, or actors, why don't they have that type of protection? I don't know, bro. It needs to happen, bro. It's disgusting. It, I, what's I'm it going to surpri- take? Is I'm it going to take a footballer? They, there aren't laws right now about that stuff. No, but what's it going to take? A footballer to commit suicide because he's been harassed so much? I don't know what it's going to take, but whatever... Like, whatever this should be a big is, wake-up call. Whatever it is going to take... Needs to happen. P- lives are being lost. It needs to so happen, bro. It's evidently, disgusting. something. Cr- What's worse than a life being taken by yeah. someone by themselves? Yeah. Nothing. Mm. So what else can be done if if people committing suicide isn't enough of a big of a big enough indication mm. for the media or just the j- journalism industry in general so to like powerful, fix man. up and start moving correctly? Then mm. I wonder. I wonder what will be the factor. What will be that one event 
or that one conversation that will make things be like, all right, boom, we've got to take a step back now, lads. Mm. You know, it was trending. Uh, obviously, you know, you know the newspaper, The Sun? Mm. Have you seen hashtag The Scum? No. Everyone's going against they deleted them. Their old, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What bastards, man? They're proper cunts. But the son have been dicks anyway. They're like a 30p newspaper. Yeah, yeah, it's like News of the World. Page bro. three and that. Remember like, News of the World? They nah, got I'm shut sure. down. They got shut down because they were. Um, Was that a UK one or a worldwide yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, no. UK one. They got shut down because they were taping, man. Um, they hacked the guy's phone and they got shut down for it. They bro, hacked these, someone's yeah, phone? Yeah, these men, they have no remote. They have no chill at all, bro. No but chill. But it relates back to my point. As a grown adult, how can you go to sleep at night knowing that the way you're making your money and feeding your children and your family is through chatting lies about other people's lives? Fucking how man. does that work, bruv? It's disgusting, bro. But Being a dead on, horse, man. Yeah, nah, it's just, again, man, for Being the fifth time, horse, sixth time, whatever, rest in peace, as, man. As, like, as, as much as we say it, like, it's, it's just, just it's I run, can't emphasize it. It's, it's so sad, man. What life so sad. I grew up watching this person presenting. Yeah, but it's, uh, the media's run by... And she by... was 40, bro. Mm. She's 40, bro. Anyways, the man. Media's run by brothers speaking of who media, have an bro, agenda speaking. against um, certain man, and um, that's disgusting, bro. It you can't do anything change. about it. It you needs can't to do change, man. It, Celebrities are people like you and I, and everyone deserves privacy and you know the opportunity to stand up for themselves, mm. isn't it? Do you know what I mean? And not everyone is mentally strong enough and capable enough to like, you know, stand up for themselves mm. and feel okay. Mm. Some people can ignore things online and laugh at it. Some people will look at their phone screens and be like, fuck, I can't believe he said it's this. So, I bruv, can't believe I she just, said that. I just, I just get annoyed at how, like, how they pick and choose, bruv. They pick and choose when it, when it's, when it fits them. I, like, for example, yeah, about this whole drill shit, yeah? Yeah. Movies, yeah, have a, I think, I think personally, movies have a bigger impact yeah. on, um, a, like, someone molding their character and being influenced on influences more than music, in my opinion. Okay. Movies more than music. You find some of the the worst killers. I don't know if you saw Don't Fuck With Cats, that Netflix thing. Nah, nah, nah. So he based his whole life and he went around and like like killed cats and killed animals and uh, ended up killing actual an actual person. What, some random don? Yeah, some random don in like Canada or some shit. So, well, he was going around killing cats and dogs? Yeah. Oh. Uh-huh. So, um... A bit mad. Yeah, he actually ended up like killing a human, yeah? And one of his main inspirations and why he moved so mad one of his main inspirations and why he moved so mad was because he based his life around a movie. Do you get it? Oh, he watched the movie. He watched the movie and, and like, he loved, him yeah, he loved all like these weird things that were happening in the movie. Like there was a, a scene where a, a lady kills her man, her lover with an ice pick. So he killed his person with an ice pick as well in like a similar manner, like he now tied he him up. Help. Yeah, he's fucked. But it has an influence on people. Like the other brother, uh, like the school shootings and that, like some of them watch movies and they're like, oh shit, like, Boom, like it, something sparks in the head. But as soon as something like drill, it's kind of like, oh shit, all hell breaks loose. Every youth that's going to watch drill now is going to be influenced by it. This, okay, my opinion on drill, yeah, I'll be honest. You're really, 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 really naive if you think it has zero effect. Mm-hmm. And you're really, mm-hmm. really, really mm-hmm. naive if you think it's the main source or the only reason why youth out there are, bring, are taking out nags yeah, and, yeah, and stabbing yeah, each other. Yeah. You're really dumb either, either end of the spectrum. Yeah. You there can't is, there say is an effect, 100%. but you, we can't be stupid and say it's the only it's effect the only or effect. it's the main effect. It's the, it's the main factor. Th- this is what it is, yeah? If the youth weren't put in a, in a position where yeah. they're not doing anything, yeah. they've got no education, for example, or no job, mm. yeah, they've got no opportunities, they're coming from a background of, like that, and all they're surrounded by is this shit, and their olders are listening to that type of music. Close it up, close it up, close it up. Yes, what a guy. And the olders are listening to that, that type of music, and they're putting, they're putting that position they can't do anything about it. That's going to influence them. That's going to be the spark. Mm, That's what mm, I'm saying. That's mm, going to be the spark, yeah? But how? what about everything before the spark? Why are youth centres being closed down? Why are youth club being closed down? Why can't you open Did up you more football pitches that? for Mandem? Like, I don't understand. It was, a, it was like a... You know how Ratman makes his music, but like it's more like a story, yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, short yeah. story with music behind yeah, it? Yeah, short film. Did you see... Short film, that's the one. Thank you. Did you see the one that Krepton Conan made? Bandrill. Bandrill. Last, yeah. Was it last year or the year before? Yeah, yeah. I think it was last, last year. year. And it had everyone in. Young Ads, yeah, yeah. Um, LB, um, Liquid Man. It had hella, hella man in it. Mm-mm. And um, it gave like two sides of the story. Like one side is he's selling drugs and undercover feds catch him and he gets gets arrested mm. and he goes down that route. And the other one is, is he starts spitting bars and he gets a million views and it that inspires that inspires him to make more music which yeah, in 100%. turn gives him legal money. And, yeah. and it goes to show like, raw like, they've just presented both sides of the spectrum to the media and later on i think the following week house of parliament or house of common uh, is it commons or common house of common invited them and they had a discussion about drill 
And yeah. one of one of their camp members went in with his mask on and stuff. You know how um, a, LD from uh, yeah, six, seven six Seven wears the mask. Yeah, I was like, that's mad. Krypton Conan, you have to salute them, bro. They've yeah. done a lot for this whole yeah, but bro, like, and stuff, man. I don't want to say like drill has no effect at all. Of course, if the, if you're if you're glorifying killing and you're glorifying stabbing and all yeah, this shit, yeah. like that that could have an effect. That could have a spark. But my point is, it's not. It's the stuff that leads up to the spark that you have to consider. But but some people, obviously, again, I'm not going to like, I can relate because I really can't. Mm. But when I've watched these interviews and, and I've seen different artists speaking about drill, who, who are drill artists, of course, or who have dabbled into like that kind of mm. uh, genre, genre of music, they say, we can only speak about things that we've grown up with and we can relate to. No, I, I like, For example, that. if I made a drill tune talking about... Um, you know, mix it, whipping up in a Pyrex and, you know, full four in the full door and, you know, things like that. Like, mm. bruv, I, yeah, I don't come from the prettiest place. And again, I've said that exact sentence before about not coming from a pretty place, but I'm not growing up around. I've not seen shootings and yeah. this and I've like, you know what I mean? So, but if mandem our age in another side of London or even forget London, bruv, even we, we all not up north, down south, there's always there's just shit going on everywhere. Isn't yeah, it? It's like, if that's their reality, what else can they speak on? Yeah, but bro, look how many people that's their reality for. Like, why is this the only solution that they have? Why can't... What do you mean? As in the artists? No, uh, like the, the youths. Like, yeah, why yeah. is it? Why is it that they're put, all of us are put in a situation where that is so tempting? That's such an offer. That shouldn't be there. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, because the government bro, should do shit. Like, youth centres, bro. They make such... A, if, I, if I can go to a place for free where I can chill with my boys and we can play table tennis or we can play football or we can sit down and play on an Xbox every now and then, like, chill, blah, blah. Of course I'm going to do that. But if you're closing that shit down or a library that's interactive or fucking anything, bro, like, think outside the box. Like, even music now is popping. Mm, mm, Why don't you make a once a week a studio session where you can go in and, like, maybe you play, like, two nug or something and you go in and you spit bars and, like, people can mix it for you. Mm. Bro, think of something imaginative, mm, bro. Like, this is mm, this is the future. But again, it, but doesn't, look, play in, it doesn't play into their narrative. But look, Playing to the story. Let's let's go up the ladder, bro. Who who makes these decisions? Councils. Yeah. Who who do who do councils get approval from? The government. And look at the government. Who are they? Posh, old, white rich men. white yeah. men. Of course. And and women. They don't give a yeah, fuck. Yeah, someone's gonna watch and say, oh, Sadiq Khan's brown. Yeah, bro. He's not really. We, That's just yeah, to shut we, the public up. That's we all, we all know. I mean, Sadiq's. If I'm not mistaken, he's also Pakistani, right? I think so. But. I don't know. Many people aren't a big fan of him. They think he's a waste man. But that's just I, I, I don't know. another but agenda. Basically, the point is, is you can't expect. Like I can't, I can't solve a solution if I don't fully understand the problem. Mm. Sorry, that didn't make sense. I can't give you a solution to something that I can't relate with, with, with what the problem is. Mm. How can man like Boris? Uh, that's his name, isn't it? Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson, our, our prime minister. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I don't, I don't really, I don't want really to get the name wrong. How can Boris be relating to mans from council estates who who have grown up with their mums on benefits? Yeah, and, you in, can't. In, when there's like five siblings in like a two bedroom, uh, for example, he can't because he went private school and, he, and he knows he. and he knows about five course meals and seven piece suits. You know what I'm saying? I know mm. I sound a bit, I'm sounding a bit extra right now, mm. but my point is, is it's hard to give a solution to something. When you can't relate to the problem, but bro, these these men are representing unless the minority. The pro unless the solution is here's a checkmate. Let's take a picture for the observer. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, but these men are re are, re are representing the minority. They're not representing the majority. The majority. Wait, wait, wait say that again. So they're representing the minority. Who's they're, they? Who's they? These men in council and all these. Parliament, oh, okay, okay, okay. They're okay. representing the people that are well off. Yeah, but if you come to London, especially for example, you'll find that most guys in London. Yeah. Don't dress like them. Don't talk like them. Don't, Trust me. don't act like them, don't have the same beliefs, they don't mm, have the same mm. background. Like London for me, bro, is beautiful. It's so like- I love London, that. I actually love London. Beautiful, I love bro. How many inspirations do we have from Arabs, from Jamaicans, from uh, Africans, mm, or like mm, all mm. culture mixed, Asians, Music, whatever. Music, business, everything. The way we talk, yeah, yeah. the way we talk, bro, you find in Toronto as well, they talk so similar yeah, to us yeah, because yeah. of similar cultures, isn't it? That's so, why everyone from, even artists like Drake say, Toronto and London like are so similar in yeah, the sense of the, every everyone's just so multicultural and stuff. Yeah. But you know, so you're making a point? I, I no, no, know. no, it's cool. No, I'm just saying you, they don't represent no one, so how you know, do you expect you, them to you make You just had a really good point that, and it's kind of weird that I'm, again, I, I, you know one thing I noticed about doing the podcast is making me a lot more like I'm getting more comfortable sharing things about my life and I'm I'm quite glad that like I can interact with the people. Yeah, like people are able to Big up to you, bro. Thank you, sir. More life, more power, more success. More greatness. Inshallah. You said a minute ago people who don't talk like you and dress like you and so on and so forth. At work, obviously how I speak to my colleague, 
would be a lot different to how I speak to my seniors, right? 100%. Out of respect, because that's how it should be. 100%. And I've noticed myself, bro, and this is something I actively need to improve. I mean, you've seen me, I, I don't think you've seen me in like a, with my business mode on, mm. but I know that you know when it comes to articulating emails and phone conversations and, you know, knowing how to conduct myself isn't something that I haven't done before. Yeah. But bro, one thing I've noticed, and I do need to actively fix this or try my best to fix it is, I've noticed when I'm in meetings or having conversations with seniors or other sort of colleagues who aren't maybe directly related into my team or whatever, I notice myself struggling when I'm trying to speak more. I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to say the word, but when I'm trying to speak more formal, more proper, professional, yeah. more proper, like, and that's bad because I'm 24. I shouldn't struggle speaking normally. But then again, it's like how but why I've is that normal? Up. Because it's the di English dictionary. If bro. I come, well, okay, but if I come in with an accent, I, I just came fresh off the boat with an accent. No, accents how is is your how, how your voice sounds, isn't it? No, accent is the way you pronounce certain words and like you have yeah, an yeah. accent. Sound. Yeah, I'm talking about the actual word. Like for example, let's say me and you are colleagues. Yeah. And we're both in the same position. I could be like, ah, yo, broski, you know that file over there? I beg you send that to me. I could say that to you. Yeah. But if I said it to my manager, I'd be like, oh hey, how are you? You good? Just a no, quick but one. I'm I was just wondering if, if you could. If someone with an you accent. Say? No, but if someone with an accent. Can, can, can get a pass because they can't. What I'm trying to yeah. say is I've grown that way. So don't expect me to come into the workplace yeah. and suddenly I've but changed do you think, everything. Do you think as young professionals like you and I, do you think we should adapt into that? No, we that should to sense. a certain extent, but they should also adapt to the fact that professional isn't always proper. I can still get the job done. Oh, yes, That's yes, my yes, point. yes, yes. I can yes. still come to you. 100%. With a hoodie why, why and jeans on. Bro, them. I'm not going to lie to you. Sometimes I joke around my managers and, that, and like I talk to them in like a certain way. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't change that much. Like it's bad sometimes. I kind of have to because my no, manager I get you. She's not. She's not even from like London. So no, no, I get. Bro, I work around like trust me. I mean, but big up my manager. No, no, no trust me. I work around different this. people. But they like sometimes some of them will talk. Yeah, I know. Sometimes they would be like to me, oh, mm. bro, you speak bare road, man. Like, haha, is that how London people talk? That's what I'm saying. But it's not even road. Yeah, no, but it's I'm, not that's even the thing. road. I'm toning it down yeah, a little bit. Yeah. But if you if you actually try it, bro. It's not that badly received. Like some, yeah, some people yeah, will be dickheads. Yeah. Oh, saying you need to talk properly. Like we are in a work environment, have some respect. Oh, up, man. But they, they will never say that to me. Cause you know. Oh, you, oh no, no, no. I'm saying they're thinking people, that. Yeah, they're thinking okay, that. Okay, cool. Or they'll probably say, I was gonna a say someone said it to you, that is quite rude. No, 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 I'll complain. HR, <laughs> snitch lips. Don't bring on the HR. Yeah, so. That's good one, isn't it? No. So, um, yeah. no. But some, a lot of them would like start laughing and that. They'll, they'll take it. All yeah, right, yeah, do you get me? But fuck it. Like bro. with me, like when I when I get passionate about something, you you probably notice this. I start getting all like yeah. colourful and hands and that. But like, like you said, I can still speak a certain way. But best believe, I'm gonna get that job done. Mm. Yeah, hundred percent. Get me. I probably perform like, like, and I bring something different to the environment, bro. Like people enjoy working around me. And yeah, if you don't, yeah. You're lying, I think so. the positive energy and stuff, like how me, how you make others feel and whatnot. Yeah. But last but not least, yeah. Um, speak kind of. Similar on the topic of drill, mm. um, I don't know how much you you don't like much into grime and stuff, are you? Or like here and there? Nah, I mean, I like I like UK music, but I feel like grime has lost its oomph. No, no, no. Like no one can really identify what grime is. Yeah, anymore. it's all like all over. The like place I, now. When I think of grime, I feel like BBK. I yeah, think, yeah, That's what I think Shout of grime. BBK. But everyone thinks now like UK music is grime. When yeah, it's not. no, it's disgusting. With Channel Four making documentaries of like these twelve-year-olds up north who are yeah. spit. It's cringe. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, Stormzy. Well, this is this happened at the beginning of the year. Stormzy and Wiley were going at it. You probably saw it back in January. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They had their clash, whatever, boom. Literally, I think it was the past two days now. They've been trending. Stormzy, yeah, they, they've been trending. Mm. But big up Storm. Stormzy's trending all the time. He's mm. like well, the biggest artist to ever come out of the UK, in my opinion. Do you know what I'm saying? Probably him and Skepta. And obviously, I'm not talking singers or like Ed Sheeran because no one could be on Ed Sheeran's level. Adele. But like, I'm talking about like rappers and. Adele. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm not talking about them lot. No, no, but I'm just saying Adele. I like yeah, Adele. Do you think Adele, Adele was bigger than Ed? Yeah. But you know Ed grows more than Beyonce. Ed, Ed, Ed. Ed Ed's massive. If I'm not mistaken, Ed's Bro, do you know how I say Ed? Do you know how I know Ed is big? Eminem wanted to make a song with him. That's how I know he's big. Swear. He made a tune with him, bro. I didn't know that. I, 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 can't say, that. I don't really follow Ed's, yeah, Ed's music. Ed's rated, bro. Anyways, Stormzy and obviously Wiley had their clash. Stormzy won. Well, I don't know if he won, but st everyone said Stormzy won. Some parts I thought Wiley did, but anyways, that's not my point. My point is this. Wiley has kind of been that annoying guy that's always kept on tweeting Stormzy, even after their clash. 6 9 Yeah, basically. He's been a bit pro provocative. Yeah, exactly. But but directly at Stormzy. Yeah. And he's because Wiley's obviously a lot older, he's yeah. he, he's got no filter, as you can probably tell through social media. Mm. And two twos, 
Storm, uh, Wiley keeps saying to Stormzy, let's clash at the O2 and get Eddie Hearn involved or some shit. Or What does that mean, bro? Like, fight? No, no. Well, I'm a bit confused. A clash in the sense of music is it's like a rap You spit bars yeah. against me, yeah. the crowd gives a reaction. I spit bars against you, the crowd gives their reaction. Whoever got the biggest reaction, that's what a clash is. That's where that's kind of like where grime stemmed from. You know what I'm trying to say? Big up eight mile. Eight mile. Sick but now that Wiley's talking about Eddie Hearn and stuff, it's a bit confusing. It's like, do you mean clash as in a boxing match? And he keeps talking about the O2 and stuff. Yeah. Obviously, Storms is like, bruv, like you're not big enough Storms to clash me at the O2. Though. Like you're, you're not you're not a big artist. And then Storms he called him out last night or the night before, I think it was like, do you know that radio Rinse FM? Radio station, Rinse FM. Yeah. And that up. other one, Radio One Extra or something. Yeah, One Extra. Yeah. So he tweeted both of them as in. Oh, I saw that. And I saw that, yeah. He was like, so Stormzy tweeted both of those radios and said, Wiley, tonight. Yeah, bro. So he called him out, but Wiley's yeah. in, a, he lives in Cyprus. I don't know if you knew that. So Wiley's also here as well as Cyprus? Yeah, yeah. He's got a place in Cyprus as well. Man. So Wiley's like, bruv, are you mad? You happen to have two cancelled shows on your tour because um, Stormzy's in a world tour right now. I don't know if you know. So Wiley's point is that, bruv, how are you calling me out? Well, you're, you weren't even supposed to be here. If you're going to call me out, then let's do it properly. Get Eddie Hearn, this, that. Wiley's just trolling. Wiley sent for, you know, Jammer from BBK? Yeah. What's upsetting is, is they're both part of Boy Better Know. And Jammer and Wiley go way back. Have you heard of something called Lord of the Mics? Yeah. Lord of the Mics. Uh, for those of you that don't know what it is, Lord of the Mics is basically like a, a clashing platform. That's where a lot of grime artists got discovered uh, early 2000s, like Skepta and Devil Man. Um, you know Skepta's lyric about, you're not ready, that one. Mm. Oh, go on, there, go on, then you fool. That's where it got famous. Jammer created Lord of the Mics in his basement at home in East London somewhere. So Jammer is, it's is, is, is safe to say, Jammer is one of the reasons why Grime has been able to be where it is today. Mm. Because he let that happen in his yard. Makes sense. Mm. Wiley is now sending for Jammer and there's, basically why, Wiley's just being a sour guy now. He's sending for everyone. His own brothers, people in his crew, Stormzy. It's kind of like he had the limelight and he's now that sour old git. Yeah, that, you don't want to do that. That is just so upset that people are able to make loads of money and do certain things. I will just stop replying because of grime. Stormzy. You know what I'm trying to say? But at the same time, I do understand an element of what Wiley's saying because his point is Grime started in the village. Mm. Why have you not taken the village to the city? And when you want to claim hood points again, you want to come in back to the village. Bro, let people I, do I, thing, do, man. I do understand that because, because one thing Wiley said, and I, I don't, again, I don't know how closely you are aware of this stuff, but Wiley tweeted this a few days ago or a few weeks ago. I think it was earlier this week. He goes, if I really wanted to be a dickhead or if I really wanted to be a bastard, I could have owned everyone on Grime. And they all had to sign through me. But he goes, I'm not a selfish guy. And, but then it'll become more of a conversation. Like, yeah, all I know is, is Storms, he's evidently pissed off. Like, bruv, like, clash me, let's do it. Because he's a young blood. He's, what, 26, I think? Mm. And obviously, while he's 41 and Fucking bro, up, Storms, he's calling him a pussy on everything, bruv. Yeah, but bro, let him do what he wants, yeah, bro. Man, let Storms, out, Storms he wants to make team. music and take it to the city and take it to the radio. Let him do what he wants. If I don't really have an opinion, bro. I just spread peace and positivity and love and unity, bro. Yes, sir. Big up my dogs, everyone around the world. I just clocked something. Yeah. When this podcast comes out, yeah. your birthday was four days ago. Mad. Inception and that. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah. So if you're watching, if you've got this far in the podcast and if you haven't already, wish him happy birthday in either the comment section or message him. Thank you. Cheers, brother. My more brother. life, more positivity. I think that was a, that was a good podcast, in my opinion. You think so? Well, they're all good, innit? But you know what I'm saying? Are Guys, they? appreciate oh. your ongoing support and love. Yeah. As always, you know what I'm saying? Just just carry on supporting Spread the boys. Spread positivity. Trust me. And of course... If Believe in God. If there's anything we can do to improve I want to talk about God um, next episode and spirituality. Our content. Uh, any specific topics? If you want to endorse us for any... No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm not joking. Bring my, that money here, boy. Trust me. Bring that ass here, boy. Is that cash or card, sir? Do you know where that's from? What? Bring that ass here, boy. I'm not sure. It rings a bell, but I'm not sure. Yeah, you know what else rings a bell? The block button. Guys. <laughs> Take care. Uh, thank you for supporting and watching and all that. And uh, yeah. Grease. Safe, man. Adios, mami. Hola, como estas?